All right, welcome. So what I want to do throughout this entire project is I want to share with you in between the videos that we do out in the field on the job site, I want to bring you back to the office to where I show you what I'm doing with the plans and kind of give you a more of a 2D approach to what we're looking at on the plans and how we're translating that out into the field. A lot of these things I'm learning as I go. Once again, I'm hopeful that you can help me through the comments, interactions, all this kind of stuff. Teach me the stuff that you know about construction that I'm still learning about. I'm more on the business side of things. I fully understand the coordination, the scheduling. I understand how to read documents quite well, but when it comes to the, all the details of a footing foundation, the rebar, you know, how beams and joists and all this stuff connect, that's what I'm still learning. I'm not the guy to put on the tool belt and go do it, but I am the guy to understand how to manage it and get the people and the experts on site to figure out the best way to do that in the most organized fashion. So that being said, this first video, I explained to you the welcome introduction video of what we're going to be doing on this project and the size of the house and the scope and all this kind of stuff and what we're going to be doing. And I'll be sharing with you my spreadsheets, my numbers. And if you stick with me to the very end of this series, we're going to unveil to you the entire process of how we bid this job, what we thought it was going to cost, what it did cost, and what our profit was. Again, we're going to be selling this house. This is a multi-million dollar home. We're going to be selling it for about $2 million. So stick around throughout this entire series as we teach you how we did it and how we raised the money, all the above, and what we made in the very end, what our profit was. So that being said, let's jump right in. I'll just kind of give you a little understanding of this project and what it what it entails. So like I said, it's Parks uh, Sky Ridge Ursa Lot 72. It's in Wasatch County, which is about we're maybe three, four miles away from Park City proper. So this is the house itself. It sits on lot 72. And I'll kind of jump right into the logistics of everything. So that being said, let me just give you an overview of, you know, so here's the drive, here's where we come in on the main road. And then we enter through obviously the driveway. The house sits on this little plot of land. We got our, our setbacks and our LOD um, from, from here, the back of patio to the front of the road. It was a 16 foot cut we had to take. We had to take, you know, from the back patio, we're gonna be cutting 16 feet down, which got a little dicey in the beginning because we did hit some rock and we thought we we're gonna have to pay for hammering charges, but we ended up uh, being able to get through it with a single ripper tooth, they call it on the, the, the track hoe. And was able to take all that energy and just pull it in down and to, to peel the rock away. So the house sits pretty simple layout as far as it goes, but it's a three car garage. And uh, you enter through the mud room, the laundry room, and then the downstairs, it's all going to be slab. So there is no basement level. This is grade. So we're, this is going to be, you know, the foundation and then the flooring will be poured the flat work. We're going to make all this carpet. So you got the family room here, two bunk rooms, pretty simple, and then two baths. And then once you go upstairs, come up the stairs here, and you're in the great room. The great room has a covered deck, and outside this direction is the view of the lake and all that stuff. So you got your kitchen, back patio, quite a nice back patio. Um, this one of my favorite features, it's just this kind of half wall. This wall goes floor to ceiling, so you can't see under this side of the room, but you go around and it's a little office, you know, it has little windows, but it's a, an office or, I mean, you can make it a pantry. They can do whatever they want with it. So that being said, we also come into the master suite and then, um, excuse me, the master, the guest master suite. And then the master bedroom has the same views of the lake as the covered deck does and the master closet, all of that good stuff. So pretty simple house overall. You know, I think I probably misspoke in the first video, but you know, right now we're looking at about 3270 uh, square footage for the sellable price of real estate. You know, when we build, you know, as far as cost per square foot, I'm going to be including the garage, the storage, the mechanical. Obviously, uh, these these areas are part of construction cost. But when it comes to real estate, you can't include them in the listing price, unfortunately. So we're going to be listing it at 3270. So Think of the math on that, it's pretty wild. If I pull up my calculator and I go, uh, we'll say $2 million divided by 32.70. We're selling this house at $6.11, um, $611 per square foot. That's Park City prices, it's unbelievable. So you're getting 
3270 for $2 million. I don't know where you live in the country, but just think about that. It's quite wild. The average house about this size around the country, my guess is going to be $300,000, $350,000. So it's, it's incredible what you get for you know, the size in this town, but people pay for it. And we are putting high end finishes. This isn't going to be, you know, Home Depot build outs. We're, we're putting, you know, quality equipment and, um, you know, top of the line mechanical, you know, the appliances, the finishes were, so it it is a quality home as far as the finish level goes. However, it's still crazy what you get for your money in this town. So I'll show you a quick elevation plan of the house. So, you know, this is the downstairs family room. This is the entertainment room we talked about with this covered deck and the covered deck faces, I mean, the money shot of the lake and then the master gets the same. And then on the back patio, you're pretty secluded. All this around here is sagebrush. So you're blocked off from your neighbors on the other side of the house. The nice part about this house over here is this is their garage and their driveway entrance. So you don't really notice what's going on with those individuals. Uh, that being said, I think that's all I'm going to show you for this video. I'm just kind of giving you a layout of the land and what we're doing. And throughout the progress of this project, I'll be sitting down with you and kind of showing you what I'm doing and how I'm reading my plans and how I sketch my drawings up and figure out what I have to do to get things dialed in so I can make sure that I'm staying ahead of the game. So that being said, this is introduction to building a multi-million dollar spec home with me, David Windsor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Also, if you will go over to davidwindsor.com, I'll have all the free templates you need. The templates are going to be anything from scheduling a job to bidding a job, customer proposals, uh, you know, personal things, workout sheets. All this stuff is free. I built it for you. All I ask is you like, sub subscribe, and share this. davidwindsor.com. You'll find those templates there, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.